Welcome home, loves. How's everybody doing today? I have another haul. This is the second time I've been to this store. It's called B2 Outlets. It's a Christian ran based outlet store. And they get a lot of things. They have shoes, they have clothes, they have kids' toys, kitchen. You know, cookware, knives, and different towels, stuff like that. They have beach towels, and then they have food. Most of their food comes from Costco. And as you'll see, some of it's fine. And some of them, the boxes are damaged. Everything's in date, and the prices are good. I can't find my receipt. I think I spent between $25 and $27. So, this is what I got. I have 10 of the sparkling waters from Tasco. And this is a strawberry watermelon. I got 9 of these. And one is an orange mango. Amber took my orange mango. I only bought one because I didn't know what that would taste like. And these were $0.33 cents each. So if you go to Walmart or any other and you get the ice, you're paying a dollar. And this tastes like the ice. So I like strawberry kiwi, so that's why I got nine of those. But I wasn't sure on the orange mango. And then they had these Snyder's 1.5 ounce individual bags of pretzel minis. They were 20 cents each. I picked up five of them. The reason I got these was because for the kids to put in their snack, to take to school for snack. And it's a, it just, it's a convenience thing. Instead of buying a big bag and having to put them in snack bags or sandwich bags, and then the boys compare to see if so-and-so got more than so-and-so. So, I got these. They were excited today when they saw those in the snack bucket. And they took those to school. So the next thing I have, and I think this is the same one the Dollar Tree has, the Pantene Foam Conditioner. It's for fine, flat hair, air light nourishment, zero weight. It's up to 100 juices. This was $1.99. But there's two of them in here. Same price as the Dollar Tree. And I don't think I was able to find any of these at the Dollar Tree. So they only had two left, but I only bought one because I'm not sure how it was going to work. So when I go back next time, I'm sure that these will be gone. But I was excited to see that it was for fine, flat hair. Because that's what I have, fine, flat hair. Then I got these boxes of Nutri-Grain, and there's 16 bars in a box, and you can see how the box is damaged. The case probably got crushed, and these were $4, and I know for Nutri-Grain in the store, a regular pack, which has, I don't know how many that has in it, eight maybe, is over $2. So, I figured this was a good deal. I got blueberry and apple cinnamon. And, let me see. The date on these are good till October. They'll have them eat. I bought them for the boys for snack for school. They'll have them eat before October. And then, I called my daughter in law because I found this case of Pringles. There's 12 cans in here, and each can is 1.4 ounces. So it's just your regular little can of Pringles. And they're good till April 22nd of 2020. And these are like Ember's favorite chips. So I picked these up. She told me to go ahead and get these because now Sam's Club is selling them in the packs like this. Before they would sell the 
one of these a plain and the cheese ones well they didn't care for the cheese one they eventually ate them but they didn't care for them this was 466 it says variety so it must be part of the three pack and it came apart and she checked and sam's clubs now selling these and she said it was seven dollars it seems a little high to me, but I don't know. And the last thing I got was a ugh, big old box of Ritz crackers. There's 18 packs in here. And then they're the big packs. She had gotten some of the small packs a couple weeks ago. And the kids like them to make little lunchables on when they were home from school and then on the weekends that'll be a good lunch for them and they love to make those little lunchables and this was $7.99 I'm not sure how much one of these would be at Sam's Club but I'm pretty sure that it was more than $7.99 and these being the bigger packages Oh, excuse me. They'll last longer. Because I know the last time she bought a little pack with the little packages that she was taking to work with her. And then the one day I made the Lunchables for the kids. And she had me make tuna casserole, tuna noodle casserole one night. And I crushed those up and just put the Ritz crackers on top of the casserole to hit so it would have something over the top of it this is the second time I've been to this store the first time I spent like five dollars I wasn't sure what it is but they have there's no name on it I don't know what kind it is but there's like toilet paper and they sell paper towels and uh, um, pet toys and dog food and dog treats and once you hit the in, in clean supplies, I don't know if I saw any laundry soap, any laundry stuff. That I can't remember, but it changes all the time. And then when you hit a certain point in the racks, which isn't very far down, the rest is just food and drinks, food and drinks. And they have some really good stuff in there with some really good prices. Some of it, you know, nobody's gonna eat. But I just looked at it like, that's a, that's a really, really good price. So I don't know how they get it and can sell it so cheap. I don't know, if I'm thinking Costco donates it to them because then it would be a tax write-off for Costco and then they can turn around and sell it cheap and then they take all the money they make and put it back into the ministries and they help third world countries they help people here they just help all over the clothes are all brand new they come from everywhere victoria's secrets walmart target and i don't know again i don't know how they get the clothes or anything and shoes and pretty soon they'll have, they were just starting to have scarves, scarf and hat and glove sets out. And they have, and then they had luggage. They had, now if it wasn't stainless steel, it was like a Teflon or something, I might have thought about getting it. They had one set of Emerald Legacy cookware and it was $49. But I mean, the the box was was huge and had all sorts of uh, stuff in it. So she said they've been there for about two years. And I look because it's right over there by TJ Maxx. So when I go get my syrups at TJ Maxx, I always stop in there to find out if they have anything new. And I was looking on their website today and we're the only one here in the area. The other ones are all over on the west side of the state, which is a little bit of a drive to get to some of them. Like one's in Lansing, which is two, two hours and 15 minutes away. 
and they sell coffee. And it's just, I just enjoy going to walk around and look, even if I don't buy anything. But I got a lot of good deals. And like I said, I'm pretty sure it was like $25 that I spent for everything between 25 and 27. So I walked out of there with this huge bag filled with this. And I keep forgetting I gotta show you that big bag that I got from, oh, from Five Below. And I need to go to Five Below tonight because I bought one of those novelty pins and I was looking at the kitty cat but I don't have no face on it. Everything else does. So I need to take that bag. And that's a brand new store and they do have those bags. I stopped at a different Five Below later that day or the, no, the next day and they didn't have any bags she said they sell out as fast as they come in because they're only two dollars it's just you could fit a child in this bag that's how big it is so what we're going to do is we're going to do some new member family member shout outs so if you will go check out their channels and see if it's something that you're interested in and subscribe and support them and we'll welcome them when we see them if we see them in the comments welcome them to our family and so here we go we have jen gaga's world amy b b e e Mommy Feely F H E L Y B. And I'll have, I'll have links to their channels. Style by Rosonardo. The Smaller Half. And that's a family channel. Christina McMillan. Whole 180. 450. Lena. Minute, Matt, Matt Ute. So I believe that's eight of them. And I will have their names and I will have their channel links down there as long as I can find them every once in a while. I can't find one or two of the ones that become a new subscriber, a new family member here with us. All right, my loves. If you can be one thing in this world today, be kind. Hold a door, smile, say hello, carry groceries, give somebody your buggy, just anything, any general act of kindness. You never know who may need that. And you may miss, make somebody's day and help them feel better about themselves or help them feel better if they're in a situation. I love you guys. I need to film some Dollar Tree hauls because I went to the Dollar Tree and I got some friend mail items and I got some Halloween. Not everything that I'm looking for, but my the one store I think was almost out. The other store just started putting Halloween out. And they didn't have too much out. So I'm going to have to go back to that store. I think I got all the signs that I was interested in. I'm looking for some of the plaques. I need to go to Family Gallery and see if I can find that black one with the raffia bow on it. And then I'm looking for more pumpkins. Oh, I do have a huge, 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 huge favor to ask. I've never done this before. I was talking to my son about the blind bags because right now all I can find is Steven Universe. The kids have no idea who that is. So I was telling him about the Hello Neighbor blind bags and then the One Punch Man blind bags. He heard about the One Punch blind Man, One Punch Man blind bags. He got so excited. He watched the whole series, which I, you know, he watched those little cartoons and animes and that, and I just, some of them I'd watch with him, and, because I didn't really have a choice. He'd come into the living room and start talking, 
Are you paying attention, Mama? Are you paying attention? I'm explaining it to you. So, if anybody has them in their store, can you please, please, please let me know? And then we can work something out. I can send you a gift card to Dollar Tree or that way, you know, cash won't be going through the mail. I can, you can give me a list of things that you're looking for and I can look to see if we have any here. I could just make you a box of friend mail. Just tell me a few items that you like. And I'll whip you up a box of friend mail. If you can find them, it would be highly appreciated. And I know the kids would love to open those ha Hello Neighbor ones. So, I never ask. This is like a huge wish, li wish list item after I talk to my son. I keep looking for the blind bags no matter where I go. So, the kids can open them and have fun. They just have a ball opening those blind bags and they just think it's a great, one of the greatest things. Alright, my loves. I'm going to let you go and I'm going to put this stuff away and just remember how much I love you. I appreciate you for supporting me and I try to support everybody that supports our channel so we can get out there in YouTube land and we can meet other people and we can grow our family. We have a nice size family right now. We're at 204, which is a wonderful thing. And we need to go over the giveaway items and talk about the giveaway. But I need to go take a shower while Miss Ember's sleeping. And it's nice and quiet here. And then I better do some laundry or I'm going to end up falling asleep. All right. Until next time, my loves. Mwah! Bye-bye.